off-season spending is good for the economy, but our indulgence can sometimes result in unintended inflation around the waist. <laughs> no problem, because Mela Celebrity Chef has a passion for deliciously healthy Indian food. I'm going to be doing healthy Indian today. To start out, I'm going to pick some herbs from my garden. <laughs> Getting started on my healthy Indian meal. On the menu today, chicken tikka, and I'm also going to be making some brown flour rotis that I'm going to use as wraps. So to make this brown flour roti, it's about 300 grams of brown flour, 200 mils of water, a pinch of salt, and just a little drizzle of olive oil. I've kept it going in the beater, in the mixer for quite a while, just so we get a really, really smooth dough. We want these to be quite soft. Now, while that's resting, let's move on to the chicken tikka. So the ingredients that you'll need chicken fillet, just sliced into chunks. We've got some low-fat yogurt, olive oil, lemon juice, ginger and garlic paste, white pepper, red chili powder, ground cumin, turmeric and cardamom. And also just season it with a bit of salt. So first ingredient going into the mixing bowl, some yogurt. Now, normally I use double thick yogurt for this, but today using low-fat yogurt. Next, red chili powder. I like it quite spicy. Healthy food does not have to be bland. Next, half a teaspoon of white pepper, ground cumin, a pinch of turmeric. Now, cooking isn't an exact science. Sometimes you've just got to add what feels right. Cardamom, not too much, and I've ground the cardamom quite finely so you don't bite into those seeds. About half a teaspoon. Now, my recipe uses lots of ginger and garlic paste. In it goes. Now, this tenderizes the meat and gets lots of flavor in those little chicken tikka pieces. Chickpea flour. Lemon juice. And just a little drizzle of olive oil. Now, in goes the chicken and then just season with some salt. Now mix that through. I leave this in the refrigerator from about three hours to even overnight to get the best flavor, and you want them meltingly tender. And also, just a word on chicken tikka, you might be used to eating the bright red version. I've opted for the color-free one. Let's cover this with cling film and get it into the refrigerator. These have been marinating now for about three hours, so just lift them out the marinade, pop them onto a roasting pan. Bake these at 200 degrees Celsius for about 10 to 12 minutes. Also remember, slice up those chicken pieces quite chunky and across the grain of the meat as well. Last piece going in. Let's get it into the oven. While that's in the oven, let's get started on those rotis. The dough's been resting for a while, while I've been doing the chicken tikka. And now let's get started with these. So roll that out and let's just cut this into little pieces. I'm aiming for about eight. There we have it. Now, roll each one into a length again and coil them up. And flatten those. Again, just working them quite lightly. Now let's get the rolling pin and get these flattened out. Flour onto the work surface. Press these down. Using a little extra flour prevents the dough from sticking. I'm pressing down slightly harder on my right and just getting that dough to turn around. Most people are quite intimidated by rolling these out, but if they are odd shapes, don't worry, they're gonna taste fine. It does take a little practice and just dust off the flour. I've been preheating my roti pan and in it goes. And make sure the pan's really hot and I'm going to just move this roti around until I feel and see that it starts to bubble up. 
I'd say it would take about 45 seconds till it starts to bubble and to freckle as well. Quick peep. And here you go. Those bubbles are now coming up. Now I'm using just a little olive oil. Again, some olive oil. Next one going in. That's starting to freckle and bubble as well. Touch of olive oil, flip them over. Again, turn that over again. And the last roti I cooked going in on top and just spin that around so that the rotis don't catch and burn. Also, I hate burning my fingers. Last roti's done. Let's have a peep at the chicken ticker. And the chicken is now done. So let's assemble these wraps. Salad leaves, I like the baby ones. They're crunchy and delicious. Next, chicken ticker going on top. It's got this beautiful marinade. This is going to be mine, and I love red onion with chicken tikka. Puff that in. Let's roll these up quite tightly so the chicken tikka doesn't pop out. That's my wrap done. I would serve this with some low-fat yogurt writer with fresh mint, coriander, a pinch of salt as well, garnish with coriander. Lastly, for those wraps, few lemon wedges there just to add that lovely citrusy zing. That's my take on healthy Indian. Quick, delicious, full of flavor, gets you in and out the kitchen in an absolute flash.